All right, I'm back with some more Bannerlord and today we are starting our brand new playthrough. As you can see, we are going to be using this mod here and just this mod. I don't have anything else on, so let's jump in. All right, so first of all, we have to choose our character's culture. This time round, we are going to be picking the Yan culture. Our backstory is we were the rightful heir to the Yan dynasty. However, Someone has come in and usurped the throne from our family and now we have been outcast, forced into the world on our own and we have to try and make it. Can we retake the Yan dynasty? Can we form our own empire? Who knows? As you can see from our buffs and debuffs, you can see we're a separate faction. We aren't a united kingdom. There is conflict amongst the armies. We're corrupt. And I mean, well, the fact that we've been usurped from our throne tells you all you need to know. <laughs> but the Yan people are proud of their country and are willing to defend it at all costs. We're also good farmers, and that's pretty much about it. <laughs> As for the character design, we've just hit the random button a few times, and this is what we have. <laughs> We have a bald man with what looks like a greenish colored mustache. I don't know. We're going to be in full armor and a helmet anyway, so it doesn't matter what we look like. <laughs> All right, before coming to the land, your family was born into the royal family. As I said, we were the rightful heir. As a child, we were groomed to be the next leader. We were forced to work in the village smithy to hide our true identity. At this point, this is where the royal family was thrown out and taken over. As we got older, the smith life wasn't for us and we ended up joining the garrison, serving the Yan dynasty loyally, even though they outcast us. And before we set out on our adventure, we treated people well. As the former heir to the Yan dynasty, you got to treat your people well, otherwise they overthrow you. Or I mean, we got overthrown anyway. <laughs> We're going to start at 30 years old instead of 20, mainly because I want my mustache. That is it. That is the only reason I'm starting at 30 instead of 20. We need the mustache. As we are outcast and forced to start our own clan... We are going to be known as the Golden Phoenix. I don't really know if this is really a phoenix, but it's the closest we're going to get. <laughs> All right, well, as is tradition so far, I have hit the randomize button and we have ended up with the name Yan Sheng. But that being said, it is now time to set out on our journey in these new lands and try to make a name for ourselves. Well, we're going to try something different this playthrough. We are going to have enable all battle deaths. This means there is the possibility that we could actually die in a battle when we get taken out. We'll give it a go. We'll see what happens. If we die very early on, then maybe that might be a setting to turn off in the future. <laughs> but if we live and do all right, then maybe we'll keep it on. <laughs> we will have to see. All I know is we're going to have to start a family as soon as possible and secure our air as fast as we can. And we have officially entered the world. Here we are starting out. We have tagged along with a caravan. As we are an outcast, this is perfect for our backstory because we have been thrown out of the Yan dynasty. How's it going, my friend? Oh man, he just got taken out. The camp is under attack. Oh, no. No, not like this. They found me. They've heard that I am the heir to the Yan dynasty and they have come to take us out in the dead of night. Quick, men. Take up arms. We have to defend the camp. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're being shot. We've been hit by a horse. It's over already. We didn't stand a chance. We didn't stand a chance. There were too many. They came out of nowhere. We wake up from a coma. We push away the dead body on you and try to remember what happened. I'll tell you what happened. We were attacked. <laughs> we found the caravan leader. We need to talk to the caravan leader and see what happened. 
We can defeat those bandits. Half the cargo will be ours. We will try, my friend. We will try. He has given us 2,000 cash. And now we must recruit an army to take down those bandits. Oh no, we have been attacked by deserters already. Well, this isn't good. <laughs> Alright men, I know you just joined me. But if you stand by me, I will turn you into loyal warriors. You will be the mightiest of the Yan dynasty. You have to have faith in me. First, we are going to take down these bandits. They have a bow. One of them just shot me. <laughs> Alright. We're going in for the attack. Shield up. Block the hit and cut his head off. As we're just starting out, you can tell we're a little slow. <laughs> Alright, we also start with a bow. Although that being said, the accuracy isn't the greatest. Alright, come on men. Let's cut down these looters and deserters. That's what I like to see, lads. Now for the archers in the river. Oh man, look how fancy the archers, their crossbows. Oh no. This isn't good. What kind of weapon is that? The size of the beast. Alright, well, we have managed to take down the looters without taking any casualties. This has been a great day. <laughs> and not only that, but the recruits are ready to rank up. Alright, we'll go for a 2-2 split. I told you men, if you stick by me, I will turn you into mighty warriors of the Yan Dynasty. We have now recruited enough men that we can strike back at the bandits that attacked our camp. They should be near the village they attacked us. Alright, wait for me my friend. I need to buy some food for the men. Alright, well, we have bought some grain for the men. Only six bags. <laughs> we are on a budget. But that being said, I have also picked up a cheap crossbow. It's the cheapest one we could get. I think this playthrough, for our ranged weapon, we're gonna go with the crossbow. As for our melee weapon, I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do yet. I might go down two-handed and just use a two-handed weapon, rather than a one-handed shield. But we'll have to see. I haven't decided yet. Alright, there they are. They are the slavers that tried to capture us. They are the ones that took out all those innocents at the camp. We have assembled the men. It is time to take them out. Alright, men. Hey, this guy has a banner. That's what I like to see. Waving the banner of the Golden Phoenix high and proud. But not only that, but he has got it strapped to his back, which means he can still fight. <laughs> he is a genius. Either way, we have these slavers to take out. I got the crossbow at the ready. Let's test our accuracy with this bad boy. Alright, not bad, not bad. But was that a fire bolt I shot? What's going on? We have fire bolts. Well, that shot wasn't good. Alright, men. Attack. Let's dispatch of these slavers. And now it is time to take out the other group. Nice. We actually killed one in one shot. Okay. We still got to get the hang of this crossbow. But I'm sure we will soon. Right, let's dispatch of these slavers. And we're done here. We have got revenge for our fallen comrades. Hold on. There's another group of five that have shown up. Oh man, couldn't we have just fought them in a 12 on 15, you know? Or is it with all these 5 on 5 battles? Give me a real challenge, I say. <laughs> he says as he misses two crossbow bolts. Can we make it 3 for 3? Nope, we hit that one. <laughs> Oh, 
And that is the final group of slavers that have been taken out. Now we must attack the leader who is also in a group of five. <laughs> Lads, I think your defense tactics just aren't working, you know? Instead of moving around in groups of five, maybe you should group up and form a single army. You know, just my advice. <laughs> oh no, this time it's cavalry. All right, men, brace yourselves for impact. Nobody likes cavalry. If we walk towards the river, the horses will be slowed down by the water and we can attack them there. Alright, attack men, attack! Okay, the enemy have run straight through the river and are on the other side. That, that didn't exactly go to plan. Alright, this guy on the other hand is getting a crossbow bolt to the back. No he is not. Alright, we shall reload and try again. There we go. Now it is time to get the others. I don't know where this guy is running off to. But either way, he got a bolt to the back of the head. Here is the cargo he promised us. And now he is going to sell the remaining cargo. We have to find him in the nearby tavern. Oh man, this is just like Warband's story. <laughs> You clear and loot the battlefield and it seems like these bandits are not normal bandits, but slavers... Well, I mean, they have been telling us they were slavers all along. They were called slavers. <laughs> the only thing they have is cargo and you free a girl from their chains. I am no slave master. We are a man of the people. I am here to serve the Yan dynasty. I am not here to enslave its people. Oh no, they have the mark of a slave so they cannot go back into society. What kind of cruelty is this? She wants us to destroy the slavers. You can feel the anger in her eyes. Oh no. Her mother, father, grandfather and grandmother were all killed in the raid. Alright, we're going to head back to the town now. We're going to go to the tavern and visit our friend the caravan master. Maybe he can give us more information about these cruel slavers that are roaming the lands. But not only that, we're also going to sell the cargo that we were just given. We need all the money we can get. Oh man, 900 gold and 600 for the fur and oil we've been given? We will take that, lads. We will take that. We are rich. <laughs> Alright, we have arrived at the tavern. Where are you, my friend? Are you anywhere to be seen? You are not under the stairs? <laughs> oh, here he is. I didn't recognize him without his armor. He just looks like a casual guy in the tavern. The caravan master has given us the letter that he went to retrieve from the slaver. It is from the Knights of Sika, Sika. I'm not too sure how to say it. <laughs> but either way, it is from the Knights. They have been guarding countless people when the continent was in chaos. Oh man, this sounds like our kind of people. They have been guarding the realm. We shall take the letter. We have a nice epic cutscene with music for a letter. <laughs> Alright, well, we have found out that the slavers are hiding away near this castle here. I don't know how many of them there are, so I don't know if we can take them down in a fair fight. But we're going to have to head on over and investigate what we're dealing with. There are 30 of them? You want me to take down 30 of them in combat? Oh no. We're going to need more men if you're going to take down 30. That being said, we can only have 22 anyway. Alright, we have managed to fill our party with the maximum amount of troops that we can hold. Do we attempt to take down these slavers? The question is, what are they? If they're 30 cavalry, this is not going to go well at all. If it's 30 infantry, we might stand a chance. Okay, it says there's 30 infantry. Alright, we're going for it, men. We can't allow the slavers to take over this land. They have to be dealt with. Alright men, if we stick together, we can defeat these slavers. They do outnumber us, but we are the Yan dynasty. We are the golden phoenix. 
we will not back down from a fight. Especially against such cruelty as this. Alright, we have taken down one. The men just have to take down 29. Alright, we have taken down two. 28, lads. 28. Alright, get ready, men. Get ready. And attack. Cut them down. They're just slavers. We can take them in combat, men. We can do it. We are the Golden Phoenix. Alright, well, we have managed to take them down. But it does look like we lost a few men in the battle. Oh no. Was it for a good cause though? They were slavers, right? You did well, men. You did well. Alright, well, our soldiers have released all the captives. We have freed the people. We have done a good thing this day. The village elder, though, has decided to come over and talk to us. You are welcome, my friend. We just do what we must. We free the people. Before the elder could finish his words, suddenly a shower of arrows hit in the distance. The soldiers who were pacifying and treating the rescued prisoners and the... Oh, no. The old man took an arrow for us. Oh, no, this is just getting worse and worse. We have been completely surrounded by slavers. There's 500 of them? All right, men. I guess this is the cost of being a freedom fighter. We are doomed. There is nothing we can do against this. I'm sorry, men. I am sorry. I have taken you from your homes, your villages, your farms, your peaceful life, and I have led you to your death. Alright, one last fight, men. Let's give it all we have. Oh, God. <laughs> it is over for us, lads. It is over. We tried to do the right thing, and we have been punished for it. I'm not entirely sure how we're still alive right now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what a cruel world we live in, eh? What a cruel world. We led our troops, but there were slave troops everywhere. The soldiers started falling one by one. Oh, no. We can't leave you behind. Maybe there's still hope. Oh, what is this? Is it the knights? Have the knights come to save us from this cruel fate? White steeds, silver vests, a golden horse helmet. It can't be. Have we been rescued? And now we're just randomly being told that ants cause trouble? <laughs> we are now talking to one of the knights, Sir Vincent. He has never seen someone fight the slavers. Well, we fought them, my friend, but... Uh... <laughs> It was a lost cause. Farewell, my friend. Farewell. He is going to chase the remainder of the slavers. And we are free to do what we want. Alright, so the old man is now talking about setting up a base for us. What's going on? We're setting up a base? We should build a new settlement before to discuss your future plan. Factions like the Knights may offer help. But the powerful slavers still in shadow you. You must press ahead. Press H to issue the command to build a settlement. We can build a settlement? Alright, we shall build a settlement high in the mountains. Away from everyone else. This looks like a good spot. So they will help us to build our own village and they will help develop the settlement. Alright, yep, I wish to build here. And that is it. The Golden Phoenix now has a place we can call home. It's uh, it's not exactly a mighty settlement yet. <laughs> All we have is a bridge. That That is about it. <laughs> did we even build the bridge or did we just show up and there was a bridge? That being said, where did the water come from? We're halfway up a mountain. <laughs> I don't know, lads, but apparently this is our settlement now. 
This will be the start of an empire. All right, so we have been tasked with collecting wood for the village. All right, how does one get wood? Do, do we just cut down a tree? Do we uh, pick up some twigs off the floor? What is the plan here? Can I just pick up this twig? Apparently not. Do we chop down the tree? You can't. <laughs> you can't acquire resource with your bare hands. All right, I shall use my sword, and it is working. All right, we have the wood. <laughs> All right, here is your wood, my friend. You want to mine some stone and we can use his pickaxe. You can open up the resource and tools menu with Q. Okay. That is actually pretty cool. So there's different tools here. All right, we're chopping the stone with our sword, as you do. Although that being said, if we collect enough stone, we can make a pickaxe. Alright, so I have equipped our pickaxe and we get more stone from it. Okay. <laughs> or, are we playing Bannerlord or are we playing Minecraft? What is going on here? <laughs> and now we must capture some wild boar to feed the people. Alright, say no more. Chopping trees, mining stone, it's not for us. But ask us to kill something. You can count on us, lads. You can count on me. And smack. It's not dead. The boar is not dead. Oh, man. At least it doesn't fight back, eh? There we go. All right. Yeah, boar, 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 boar. <laughs> yeah, boar. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to run ahead of you, my friend. And bang. Still alive. And he just left. Oh, no. There goes dinner. Dinner just left. <laughs> All right. We have found ourselves some more boars. To be honest with you, I'm just going to get my pickaxe out and we will just hack them to death. No more crossbow. Die, little piggy. Die! <laughs> Nothing beats a pickaxe to the skull. Where do you think you're going, buddy? All right, that should be enough, I think. All right, so now that we have collected our resources, the village is actually constructed and ready to go. If we go on to construction, you can see that they have all these different buildings and stuff. This is actually pretty cool. We can rename our settlement, but the question is, what should it be called? What should we name our mighty village? This is going to be the base of operations for potentially our future kingdom. We got a farmland that if we upgrade produces food daily. You have the logging yard to produce wood, the quarry for stone. The military camp will reduce the salary of self-built troops. The market will produce money. The clinic will cure the men, heal us up. And then we also have the home where we can rest. And once the home becomes upgraded enough, it will become a golden palace. If we wish, it looks like we can manually collect the resources needed to upgrade these buildings rather than waiting for just the daily amount to come in. And then also, we can officially enter our settlement. And now we can walk around our land. These are our people. These are the ones we rescued. With the help of the knights, of course. There is no way we could have done it ourselves. But at least we have a home now. That is the main thing. And we have the Tree of Wisdom. <laughs> We just have to turn this small village into a mighty city, worthy of being the capital of our future empire. But that is going to be it for the first part of my brand new Bannerlord series. Let me know what you think of the mod so far. Are you interested? Are you not? I always read all comments, so any feedback is appreciated. But that is going to be it for now. A big thank you to the Gwaggles members for your continued support. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe. And until next time, see ya.